guys and with another video here so today we will be looking at my submission for april hackathon 2022 with the hackathon which is mostly for the developers who want to build a vs code extension and this is my first time building a vs code extension obviously so i did face a lot of problems running through to complete this so we'll see what we have built so this is basically a voice oriented collaboration between the board and as well as people so these are the features that uh, has been implemented so you can also activate uh, all the other commands that you want i'll show you where to add that so that if you want to add further commands you can definitely do that in the future so we have a uh, api key from the azure devops so you can trigger uh, with your voice command and you can also call a person, all the teams, all that works. And you can also uh, chat with the uh, GPT-3 model uh, that we have implemented. And we also have some code generating uh, models, which you can definitely leverage. And uh, funny stuff, uh, you know, storytelling, crack a joke, all these. Or we do have a set of jokes that already uh, it is already there. So it just kind of randomizes stuff and picks one. And uh, lock screen is something that I came up with. You want, you want to kind of uh, just go away from your computer for some time and then come back. Uh, then you can just, if you're talking to a colleague and you will come back later, or if you're on a phone and then you can just mute it and then see lock screen and then you can go and you know, take the call and then come back. So that is something, these are something that uh, you know, helps a day to day developer like what he has to do. Uh, there are few things that are not added, uh, which are in progress. I'll try to add it maybe in the future. So this is all about uh, this part. So we'll see the demo part. So I have installed it locally. It is not available in the marketplace right now. But would be, when you see this video, it would obviously be the marketplace that you guys can download. So the first thing that we would do is we'll try to enable uh, developer tool so that we can see what is really happening so once you activate or before you activate you have this top thing which tells that you know it is not getting any of your microphone feed so once you start the server kind of gives you the signal that it is listening and then so what it does is we have two scripts one is python server which is which is hosting a websocket connection between the uh, extension that is with the TypeScript code that we have or it is converted in JavaScript now so it kind of interacts and it kind of sends all the voice command data to the uh, extension so that it can perform few of the operation and most of the perform operations are performed by the Python code that we have all the API uh, you know, interactions all that it is done but whatever you have to do inside your VS code as in like when, when you generate a code uh, you have to paste it on the editor, right? You can't do it at the Python side. So those are some of the things that we would do in the uh, uh, TypeScript side or it has to send all the data to the TypeScript. So that is why we have this WebSocket which can send uh, send and receive, uh, you know, how it works. So with that said, uh, we will try to activate or connect to the server. So these are the commands that we have as of now. Uh, installing this is a pretty uh, hard it's not a difficult job that I'll try to cover it in a separate talk so that you can you can also try out this. Now you just need to uh, manually install the npm packages and also install the pip packages if this extension is not doing it for you. So there is a place where it does. So in case if it doesn't, you know you can definitely do it. Since we have already there, uh, already have it. Uh, since we are running the release, it tells that you know, it is already running plan. I just install something so we do also have to connect so we'll disconnect all these things notification is just to uh, test notifications so what it does it has connected with uh, with the websocket of the server so you see that it is running so whatever i'm talking now uh, i kind of gets transcribed so we are using a free version of google api so it might be a slow a little and i'm recording this so it can be a slow than so you might expect but we'll try to see uh, what we have so we'll try to do the first command uh, that is build 
so as you can see i'll do a quick refresh to check what is the last build that i have done so it is a two hours ago so we'll try to see if this build works trigger pipeline build successfully triggered pipeline build so now you can see it says that you know it also talks to you so that it is not like a monologue that you are talking to some kind of a machine in front of you so it is nice to have that so we would see uh, how uh, this has went so, uh, so load to neurons or something is running so we know that you know this is triggered by our command so this is something cool that you can do so all these interactions that is obviously you can definitely take it out and we'll also try one more command uh, get total pipeline runs there are a total of 38 pipeline runs i think that was faster than i expected it to be since we are using a free version of the speech to text api it might be a little slow so if you want to have a real time experience then you have to definitely pay for it and then you can start using it so we'll also uh, try to get some help what are the commands that you can use so it kind of helps if you're just coming in new you want to know all the commands that is pretty nice to have what are the commands i can use what are the commands i can use there are a total of 15 commands. Here are some commands that you can use. Triggering Azure DevOps Pipeline. Create the requirements.txt file. Get all pipeline runs count. Call someone on Teams. Mail someone on Outlook. Open up someone's Teams chat. As you can see, it has described all of the stuff that you might want to know, like if you want to I uh, know some package help, you would just type the package name and if I even help or I can capital H. So that is something that you can just try to interact with it even more. You don't have to read the docs. And we'll also try something else. Um, joke about programmers. The three most dangerous things in the world are a programmer with a soldering iron, a hardware engineer with a software patch, and a user with an idea. That was a good one, so you can have whatever versions that you want. And we'll try to invoke the models that we have. Hey Sandy, how is the weather doing today? 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 The weather is doing well today. Okay, so that is the final try for invoking the GPT-3 model that we have. So we'll also try out the code generation part, which is pretty interesting. Hey Codex, create a Python method which can add two strings together. Oh, we did get something. We didn't get the code, but got some docs. We'll try one more time. Maybe a good sentence formation would do. Hey, Codex, create a Python function which can add two strings. Uh, I think today it's not in a good mood. Uh, I just can to a lot of
a code x create a python web function which can add two strings so this is something that we did expect in the first place to show up uh, but we didn't get it in the first time so this is something that you would get just talk to it and then you just can print the code and then this is something that is really useful if you are doing a lot of work or a lot of work which involves uh, you know, let's say if you want to have all the country names in the dictionary you can definitely do it so finally we got some code out of uh, the codex model so it was really hard to get it out but again uh, finally uh, somehow we got it so finally we can stop it uh, we'll try to stop the voice recognition and you can see it is listening now so once you stop it, it gets stopped so you get a notification that you know something has stopped So this is a simple demo of how this works and there is a lot of work that has to be done. Uh, the speech to text API has to be fine-tuned so that you get to kind of listen to everything that uh, you, know, you talk. So hope you liked it. See you on another one.